day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. No. You, you, you have love for that. Yes, you sir. You have a desire to see them do great things. Yes, sir. Greater than you. No different than Jesus. He even said it. That's, that's so awesome. Yeah. Your greater things shall you do. He did say that. He said it. And that's how I know I feel about my children. You know, I, I want them to be far more greater things than I have ever done or even thought of. Right. And so, likewise, I mean, I get it. Yes, sir. Man, you still ain't got this. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got it. But I'm, I, but you know, and I, and here, let me throw something at you. Um, remember the one verse he said is, "Unless you come as a child, mm -hmm. you, 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 you can't come into. You're not. You ain't coming into the kingdom." And and what what I what you just said and that's what son I thought about yesterday was a parent is patient, a parent is long suffering in raising a child. He 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 started from the dependence of an infant, right? And then and then yeah. all the way up to adulthood. There's that level of a, of a, of patience, and and you know what we did last week, the prodigal son was that a good example of the father showing patience with his children, both of them, both of them. You see, what I'm saying because he didn't, he didn't grab it. The old woman is cutting up. He could have said, "Boy." <laughs> You better bring your old nappy head in here and rejoice with us because look, that boy was dead and found. He's alive. And you right. had no business out here acting like a fool. Everything I gave you was, you. I, everything I got is yours. What's the problem? Right? But my point is how he said it. He said it more, son, everything I got is yours. At least I, that's the tone I got from that. Conversation. Yeah, out saying he divided it. He did. He, he did. It's, that's how it started. He did, didn't it? So he divided it evenly, then who did he divide it to? I know, but so boy, you I gave him your stuff. You don't even know what you got. You acting like a servant, huh? and, and you're a son. And, and then and, and then he not only had his portion, he also had the father's. Yes. Because sir. he was with the father. Exactly. That says a lot about us. Yeah. It? yeah, it does. He you know what? all the blessings to the redemptive work of Jesus Christ. And then because when we develop and cultivate a relationship with him, yeah. and we're with him, we have even more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But like, like remember, because what's going to say, he has given all of us a measure of faith, right? So so everybody has the same measure of faith. But the, the point was he didn't recognize what he had, right? And that's what sometimes we get off base. And then I'm talking about the fact is he had no tolerance. You know, the, the older brother had no tolerance for the uh, younger brother. Right? He was basically intolerant toward him. And he had, and he had his he had no compassion. He had no compassion. He had no patience. You know, he's like, I, I, I don't want to go. Why am I going that party for? This boy has wasted your. And see, that's how some. I think that's why I, I like that comparison. When I was looking at the prodigal son, is yeah, sometimes the, the church, just like the Jewish Pharisees and Sadducees, they like they didn't have the heart in them, or the compassion of God, to their fellow, you know, their fellow uh, brethren. You know, like the woman was caught in the act of adultery. It was more of a, hey, let's stone her. Well, that was, the, the whole point was behind that was to to find something against Christ. You, were. you know, they even came to him wrong with that because the guy wasn't with him. <laughs> uh, you know, so, I mean, there's, there's a whole lot to these stories. It is, <laughs> but it's value. Yeah. 
he trying to show a pattern, but like I said, the prodigal son, I saw that's the main piece I look at from the older brother was that lack of compassion, lack of grace, lack of mercy toward his brother with a justification behind it, right? He had a justification, but that's that justification wasn't what the father needed to do the same thing. His father's like, look, he came back. I know he had, you know, wasted everything he had with the, the riotous living. I know that, but he came back. That makes sense? Yeah. yeah, and that's what God is trying to tell. At least that's one of the things I want to focus on the, uh, some parts of the early part of the year is, is believers have compassion toward one another and just encourage people to change. But don't, 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 don't sugarcoat you you're wrong you know i mean obviously <laughs> the older brother if he has saw his brother doing that he doesn't it, he has a right to sit there and say hey brother hey man you need you need to come on back man this 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 is take you to destruction man this i'm gonna tell you this is gonna lead you to what the hog the hog pen if you keep going down this path and i i, I love you enough to tell you that you don't have to whip them like a child because they're no longer you don't treat an adult as a child. You treat him as a grown person. And you just try to say, hey, I'm just trying to show you if you go down this road, there, there's some, there's some, uh, the bridge is out. You might want to turn around. Please do that. Amen. So, so now look at the, read, close that up for that one. This is 19 to 21. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? <clears throat> and Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Yeah. For verily I say unto you, If you have faith for the grain of mustard seed, uh -huh. you shall say unto this man, Move uh -huh. him beyond the faith, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it this kind goes not out, but by prayer and fasting. Yeah. And and in, in that one, even I was looking at the fact that you're just saying is as as just like Paul, Jesus basically saying is you need to spend time in prayer. You need to spend time some time fasting. And and fast is not always just food, right? It's fasting or standing from something that that hinders the flow of God operating in our life. But the other piece is also saying the fact is unbelief. It's, it's one of the things that, that cause us to operate uh, or not be successful in doing the things of God. And that's what we need to work on. But he, I, I did like the fact is that he told him, he said, man, it's, it's unbelief. Because if you look at the situation where people are <clears throat> not behaving the way we want to behave, we got to believe the fact is that the power and the faith of God can remove that mountain. Right? Because any say, any, we say, we say a mountain, right? A mountain really talks about an issue. Something we got issues with, the things we got problems with, the things that happen in our, in our society. It's through faith we move that mountain of those issues. Not, not our own uh, flesh. Doesn't work. All right, here's another good example. I guess I call this called the showing of the intolerance uh, or lack of a, how to call it, long suffering. Try this one, this scenario. This is another one I'm trying to, to show the difference between why we need to learn to be more like Christ and not like I call Sadducees and, and Pharisees or religious people. Uh. Matthew 9, from verse 9, and Jesus passed forth from thence. He saw a man named Matthew, mm -hmm. the of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. Yes. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. Many who who the brother Addison? Publicans and sinners. <laughs> and sinner. 
right? That 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 yeah. that, that, that he, he basically and the funny about the fact is he told him to follow. You know, Matthew's obviously became one of the uh, the apostles, the disciples, right? And, mm -hmm. and uh, he's following Jesus, but somewhere along the line, they went to Matthew's house. And then Matthew was a tax collector, right? Mm -hmm. And they didn't like the Jews, people didn't like him. They despised them, right? I guess they called them like collaborators more than anything else. Uh, but publicans and sinners were sinning at that house. Now, show us show us what the scriptures of the, of the religious people uh, had to say about that. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth thou, why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? And the only thing I think about that, what does that mean to you? That does that show intolerance? No. But according to the law, that's what they were looking at. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying that they're sinners. That you know those are Jewish people they're talking about, right? Yeah. We, we, we ain't talking about gentiles uh those publicans are jewish people they all they're all part of the same group of people and what i call intolerance because the fact is why to me that's a reversal says is why are your masters sitting with them which tells me is you shouldn't be sitting with them you shouldn't have anything to do with these people isn't that what you can you know what i mean that, that's that's why I call it intolerance, not tolerance. I call it intolerance because they, they're that to, to me it's like that's the mode of operandi. Why are you talking to these people? To to answer that question to me is saying is that's not how we do things. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's why I call it so intolerance is you shouldn't be hanging around these type of people these people are not the type of people that you want to associate yourself with and what i'm saying is who is doing that who is sitting with these people so there <clears throat> obviously jesus is doing something that they don't <laughs> exactly and because he's doing it they want to know Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm giving some kind of uh, what? What? <laughs> you know, um, without you know, what? Without making accusations for them, just in this content, you know. Um, Are you getting the impression that 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 they that's not a degree? You don't think that's intolerance? Is what you're saying? I think that it's not compassion. Right, well, that's one of the things we talk about. You got yeah. God says now, our compassion. The only thing I see wrong with this is what? Went to his followers instead of to him. What was it about Jesus that they could not go ask Jesus? Hey, hey, you're gonna hear that Jesus, they obviously talk loud enough yeah. <laughs> for Jesus to hear them. Look, this this wasn't Jesus hearing it from there. You have to remember Jesus can hear, uh, he could, I guess, he hear the tenth of your heart. And yeah. In some cases, this is what it's like Jesus heard that. <laughs> Go ahead. So, yeah, read the rest of that for us. And let's put the whole heard that. <laughs> he said unto them, They that be whole be not a physician, uh -huh. but they that are sick. Yes, sir. So, these publicans. Uh -huh. And sinners, yes, sir. Thick, yes, sir. Of Jesus Christ, yes, sir. So, what what is sick? What what does Jesus mean by sick? Well, the same thing says if you uh, the wage of sin is what death, right? Sickness sometimes leads to death, doesn't it? I, I guess. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's it does lead to. That's what the scripture says. The wages of sin is death. Yeah. Right? So he's trying to say is that these people need a physician. Yeah. They're not whole. There's something. Huh? Something has a hold of you. 
Yes, sir. If, what do you call it? Men say you're serving the sin if you sin. Some yeah. scriptures, right? He's trying to say, I remember one scripture talking about, you remember that time when uh, he was coming after the, the, he was talking to the, the, the guy that was blind and told him that he came in this world to open the eyes uh, of those who can't see. Mm -hmm. And then the, the Pharisees and Sadducees was there and it said, Master, do you call us blind? You remember that? Yeah. And, and, and what Jesus said? You want to pull the scripture up. You want to see that one? Yeah. Yeah, I have to I have to look at that. I have to look it up on that one. But uh I'll bring it up. But my point was, he said is because you say you see. Your sins remain with you. If 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 uh, if you remember that, let me see. I bring. I think it was Luke. Uh, what was that? Let me see here. I will bring it up. But the bottom line is saying, if you say you can see, then your sins remain, meaning you know exactly what you're doing uh, from a scripture point of view. Let's see here. But what are you getting? What what you get out of that so far? While we bringing, while I'm looking this scripture. Oh, mm -mm. well, what from what we've been reading <clears throat> in the scripture that we've read, we're looking at the compassion that not only Jesus had, but well, I should say not only God, but Jesus had for those <clears throat> who are considered low. Just the downtime, you know, uh, just the, the little you, not the big eyes, but the little you. Yes, sir. Uh, his compassion toward them. And uh, like I was saying earlier, when you look at the, the teaching, in the, the, you follow the gospels with Jesus, those religious leaders were always getting right. Yeah. I mean he was he, he was man, he was calling them out right in their face every single time. Right. Because then, they act like they had to act together. And 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 I'm saying is God well, my, my point is the pattern I was seeing from Jesus was patience toward your fellow man is how I was looking at. It. You do you see uh the the Esau, you see the scriptures? Yeah. Okay, it's toward the bottom where uh, you can read it for us in 34 to 41. Okay. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sin, uh -huh. and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. And that was the blind man, right? The man that yeah. was blind. Eyes were open. He said that they called Jesus a sinner. Uh, <clears throat> if you if we go back to the whole content that they, they yeah. called Jesus a sinner. This man said, This is a marvelous thing. Whenever you heard uh, God heard a sinner to, to, to do something like this, you 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 don't even know where this man has come from, and yet this man done these great things. And then they that's when they cast him out because he was like busting them out, right? Go ahead. <clears throat> Jesus heard that they had cast him out. Okay. And when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? Yes, sir. He answered and said, Who is Lord, that I might believe on him? Uh-huh. And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. Yeah. And Jesus said, For judgment, Come on. I am going unto, into this world. Yes. They would see, what? not might see. Uh huh. And they, and, and that they would see, 
might be made blind. Uh huh. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words. Yes, sir. And said unto him, Are we blind also? <laughs> and Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, you should have no sin. Woo! But now ye say, We see. Uh huh. Therefore, your sins remain. Wow. Basically saying, Yes. Yeah. You are blind. You are blind. <laughs> And to me, it's almost saying it's a good thing for you to be blind yeah. <laughs> because if you act like you've got your act together, uh, then your sin remain on you because because you you're not you you're not uh you're not getting it you're not getting it you're not getting it you think you got it together but you don't have it together and therefore because you do that your sins remain with you. Yeah. You know, and, and that's why I was talking when Christ was talking, even with the, the one we just were looking at, was the fact is that he said, I I didn't come to I didn't come to 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 focus on the righteous. I, I'm coming to focus on the uh, the people that need to hear the gospel. Yeah. You hear well, I mean they weren't even being taught the law. And no. in my mind, that's basically what he was saying. You guys understand the law. You have it. You know it. So why do I need to address it to you? You know it, and yet say that you don't have no sin. So yes, <laughs> you have fault. But these people who you have not taught the law, come on now. Oh, I understand. Love, yeah. With compassion, with grace, they don't have it. I'm here for them. I'm here to teach it to them. That, I'm here doing what you should have been doing. Exact. Come on now. You're talking. You're preaching now. That's the message. You both said, we're, we're called to go preach this gospel and then bring people into the kingdom and help them understand and live and change their minds and their hearts by understanding the power of God. We're not supposed to say, I don't hang with those who, what? smoke or chew or whatever all that type of stuff it's it's we're supposed to reach out to these people yeah i mean it's it's if god's no respect our person who are we well, to we, be you know uh picking out certain types of people yeah well, you know, I if, 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 if jesus died for the world then yes. why are we picking out certain members of the world yes. certain people in the world yes. for, for all those who have sinned yeah. and come short of the glory of God. Yes. So we, we, I mean, and who qualifies for that? Come on, come on, come on, brother. You talk. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, it, but it takes, it takes God to be in that position to do that, to minister in that capacity. Yes, sir. To, to conditional love. Yes, sir. Well, that's why that's why you're bearing fruit of the spirit. That's why, yeah. and and that's why I'm saying that word I'm using long suffering is he said I need you to have patience. I need you to have be able to have suffer long. What do you call it? Suffer long. <laughs> be long suffering. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That that's what he's trying to show, and and that's why I start off with how. God proclaimed. Cause look at look, God had a hard time with those children, those children that came out of Egypt. <laughs> you remember? <that? laughs> he, I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> he he was like, oh Moses. He was almost what time we told Moses. Let me just let me just let me just be a, <laughs> let me start with you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get rid of these these, these stiff neck people because they ain't getting it. I took them out of Egypt, but Egypt I couldn't take Egypt out of them. You know. Yeah. And, but but my point was, and then I like the fact Moses was like, Lord, then let's keep working with him. Let's keep <laughs> Moses. You gotta give Moses big credit. Moses like. But Moses got mad, well, obviously, right? Moses eventually got mad. And God had it said, man, you can't, I can't, look, <laughs> Moses, I can't let you go. <laughs> you, I can't take you to the promised land 
because you 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 uh you let these people get to you. You know, I, I told you speak to the rock, you are gonna strike the rock, and and that, that's why you got I can't let you go, right? But my point was, <laughs> even God had to, there was that you know he had to change his mind toward the children of Israel, <laughs> and I think that's one of the things we all gotta recognize that is 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 a challenge but you got to stay on message you know what i mean just just stay on message and 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 going into 2022 is to have that compassion to preach this foundation of christ you know the kingdom in the kingdom guys you can come but when you come into the kingdom you got to understand the kingdom ways you got to understand the love and the compassion of the kingdom. It's not by laws. It's by your character. A lot. What you call? I like what you said earlier. on the recording was, you can't do it without God, and that's what the Holy Spirit is for, right? The Holy Spirit is when we talk about the fruits of the Spirit. We're not talking about the fruits of Brother Addison, because they ain't gonna work, is it? No, not 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 the ones that I bear. You see, I'm saying. And I agree, I agree. It's not our fruit. It's not, it's not our characteristics. It's the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. And then part of that characteristic is love. Then we got joy, we got peace. That's what God is trying to say. So we can bring people into the kingdom. I don't wanna run people away from the kingdom. I wanna bring them into the kingdom because that's what he called us to do, preach the kingdom. You're in this world, but you're not of this world. And only we can do that is show the compassion that Christ did. We need to be able to proclaim, you know, with that, that one I showed earlier. Uh, let's go back to it right here. With, with Jesus, we need to be able to proclaim, Brother Addison, similar to what God was proclaiming to Moses. You know? The Lord passed, verse 34, 6. The Lord passed before him and proclaim the Lord, the Lord God is merciful and gracious, long suffering and abundance of goodness and truth. Those are characteristic. Those, you see some of the fruits of the Spirit in there, right? Yeah. So, so the Holy Spirit brings these characteristics with us. And the truth is the word of God is what he wants us to proclaim, the foundation of God. We must proclaim God through Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the